this this set. This yeah. is this is great. And it's it, our fake town. It looks very real. <laughs> We'd, I'd like to live in a town like this. Except with leaves like that. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't need a gardener. It saves That's you a saves you a fortune in, in bills every month. Right. I like this. Now you've got to put that back. That's okay. Yeah. There goes your budget this We've month. We've got more. All Sorry. right. <laughs> All right. And, and this is now you shoot here a lot. What, yes. What's the most uh, memorable scene when you look at this that you think of? Um, I had to make out with my uh, my TV uh, love interest Scott Patterson for a photo shoot, but we had to like make out like the way I don't think anybody actually does it where like we're holding for the camera so we're like mmm hold and mmm hold and we had to do that for a long time and then like never really do the actual thing so you weren't really touching you were just making that no, noise and mm. like a little <laughs> you know but like you gotta hold it and and try to make it look pretty it was gross yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well we'll look at that cover up and actually show that when we talk okay. about this take us on a tour of the neighborhood oh good uh, all right everybody have a buddy I told you to have a buddy <laughs> if they don't have buddies? Uh, yes, they do. Okay, okay. There they are. They have their buddies. All right, let's go this way. All and right. uh, we've... So this is, Alexis, you're fluent in Spanish, right? Yep. Yeah. Because your parents, where are your parents from? Uh, my dad's from Argentina and my mom was brought up in Mexico. Okay, great. So this way Lauren can give us a tour and you can translate all oh, also for Spanish-speaking okay. okay. uh, watchers. Okay, go ahead, Lauren. On the right we have Dozy's Market. Uh, la derecha tenemos a Dozy's Market. Uh -huh. And sometimes in real life when I'm out of like laundry detergent or something, I'll just go in there and steal it because the props are real. But don't tell anybody. So you'll uh, steal them. Go ahead. <laughs> Las props are real and <laughs> Lauren steals them. <laughs> She's making it up. She doesn't really speak it. I do speak yeah. it. I just, right. That's a lot to that that translate. That's, that's a lot. Like that's a, a lot. Well, okay, good point. Uh, Rebecca, who's a big fan, yeah. uh, she wants to know, this is for you, um, Lorelei proposed to Luke right. on the show. Would you ever do that in your life? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? I think that's the boy's job. Really? Mm-hmm. I yeah. do. Well, what, what if you really want to and he's waiting for you? <laughs> no, because... <laughs> Uh, There's Rebecca. Come on in, Rebecca. Rebecca. I don't know. Would you, Rebecca? No. See? <laughs> I'm too shy. I, I really appreciate that my character did it, but um, yeah, I don't know. Because what if he says no? That's embarrassing. Well, he's thinking <laughs> the same thing about the girl, though. If he oh, said, what if right. she says no? So why can't it be an equal thing? That it if... can be an equal thing, but I mean, um, why, <laughs> why, why have it be? Yeah. <laughs> why have it be? <laughs> and again, um, no. I think that I think. Well, I don't. Maybe you'd both do it at the same time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Count three. I have something to ask you. Maybe you have something to ask me. Okay. One, two, three. Do you How want to would marry you your me? shirt? Oh. <laughs> yeah, ruin it. I know. See, but that's the, the risk yeah. you want. You run, really. Right. All right. You're about to shoot a scene in Luke's diner, yeah. right? Yes. All right. We want to watch you shoot that scene. Is oh. that okay? Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. Well, well uh, yeah, I guess y'all go first because we can't all fit. Okay. Yeah, don't bother us. We'll be in the background. We'll be extras okay. doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> watermelon, watermelon, yeah. like that. That's what yeah. people say sometimes. All right. Okay, good. We'll do that. We'll see you in there. You go in there, okay. and we'll see you in there. Okay, great. All Bye. right. <laughs> Goodbye. There they go. That's them. It's exciting, right? Yeah, there they go in there. All right, we'll be right back after this. All right, we have a, we have a great surprise for a huge fan of the Gilmore Girls. Uh, you want to tell them what's going on here? Sure. Becky, some call you Rebecca. Um, you are the winner, <laughs> and this certificate proves it, of a walk-on role in the Gilmore Girls. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good. Now, I, I feel like, I was trying to figure out if we've met before. I feel like we have. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've met you, but um, you haven't met me. <laughs> all right. And that's How all we'll say. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, um, we were on vacation together. I mean, not together, but we were on oh. vacation <laughs> at the same place. And, um, and it was like a place that had like little jaunty woodland trails throughout it. Do you know yes. what I mean? Sure. <laughs> She's like, I'm giving nothing yeah. up. And, um, and you were the friendliest person at this place. And it was so nice. You said hello and good morning and have a nice day everywhere you went. And it was so sweet. So I said hello back. And, and that's when we met. <laughs> <laughs> remember Don't yes <laughs> yeah but it was so nice I couldn't I, I just and it made me think you know why aren't I like that? Because I'm not. <laughs> really? You don't say hi to a lot of people? Not people I don't know. Mm -hmm. I find I'm afraid of more you know people say hi and I'm like what? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that sad? It's yes. true though it's sad when people smile and wave too much you cross the street because <laughs> right. uh, go to the other side of the street because you think they want something from you. Right. And this place was in the woods, so I felt pretty safe, you know, because right. 
what's oh wait a minute no that yeah, should have no, been more it's scary it's the opposite oh well you've got everything turned around yeah <laughs> apparently you should be more afraid if frightened of someone in the woods walking up and saying hello that's right i yeah. should have was i in the woods saying hello <laughs> <laughs> No, it was a jaunty woodland path. A, it was oh, a, a jaunty woodland yes. path. Was I dressed as Minnie Mouse? What was I doing? <laughs> it was just a delightful uh, sort of, you know, wooded yeah. uh, area that had, I mean, I know it was the Holiday Inn on Route 23. Yeah. There, I've said yeah. it. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about yeah. now. Yeah, it was a... Uh, it's wintertime. It's a beautiful place. It is a beautiful and place. And you were the friendliest person there. I was? Yes. And it's kind I, of... I didn't win that no. prize. <laughs> and it should be like a summer camp kind yeah. of... Because it has a summer camp kind of feel, and you would have won friendliest camper. Oh, yeah. It was, it was New Year's Eve, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know where that was. Yeah. Did, it, it's, it's great there. Anyway. Yes. Um, <laughs> we can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Route 23, yeah. check it out. No, it, it's, uh, it, there's, no, I was thinking about another story, actually, because I found a puppy when I was there. That, oh, that, really? And I found a home for it there. Oh, that's great. That's I, I wish I could have a dog someday without these hours on this program that I do. Yeah, now, where do you shoot that? We shoot in, Bur in uh, Burbank here uh -huh. and in, at Warner Brothers, which is not too far away. Right, that's a beautiful lot. You yeah. have fun, and, and, and do you walk all over the place? And I actually, this year, got a bicycle to kind of take myself around, uh -huh. um, which is so much faster. I don't know if you got the memo. Yeah. Faster than walking. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, it took me, <laughs> literally, it took me four years to get the, the bicycle. Because I didn't, I, I needed a long time to really figure out that it was faster than walking. Anyway, well, um, thank God the show went that long, so I you know, could figure it out. I know. Yeah. I think that's why it yeah. went that long. But um, so yes, and I've been riding the bike, and and what I realize is that the, we have uh, rules on the lot. Like you know, there's a stop. There aren't really stop signs so much as like the word stop is painted on the ground, which to me is a suggestion, not a not a yeah. rule. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, well, it's also who's drive riding, looking down at the ground like saying. that. That's, that's dangerous. Saying. Well, especially me because I'm talking on the phone while I'm, you know. So, um, are you really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're you're riding a bike, talking on the phone, and with a hot beverage. <laughs> and there's no cup holder on the bike, just a basket. Okay. <laughs> so Go it's ahead. unsafe at yes. best. Yeah. And so I got pulled over naturally <laughs> by yeah. the, you know, Warner Brothers. I don't know, by a cartoon character. Yeah. Frog. <laughs> He's like, mad. No, what? but a person, you know, whose job that is, who I should not be dis uh, dissing right now. Right? Yeah, because <laughs> when you go back to work tomorrow, they'll. If, if. Yeah. Um, so, so there I was, and I got the, the hey, uh, stop. And, and as I had already passed through several stops, I didn't really take it seriously. <laughs> was, but he then on I a, was he on a bike or? On a motorcycle. Or like a moped. I know. Do you start there's, giggling And there's no siren? He just is on a moped yes. going, hey, stop. Yes. That was my point. All right. Because I was like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I sort of put the phone in the beverage, and I you know, put, put my kickstand down. Right. And uh, I was like, yeah. And, and, and he was like, you know, you just blew through all those stop signs. And I was like, don't you mean the stop suggestions? Uh-huh. <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, on our lot, there are a number of other shows like uh, ER and Friends and West Wing and stuff that shoot. And so he said, I'm going to have to give you a ticket. <sighs> okay. And so uh, <laughs> I was like, and he said, you know, what's your name? And I said, naturally, I said, my name is Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> and, yeah. She can afford a ticket. She, yeah. Whatever. What does she yeah. care? Yeah. They're not going to take her to the Warner Brothers, you know, impound lot right. or whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> and... <laughs> And, and then he was like, okay, well, you know, Ms. Aniston, if you get three of these. And I was like, what? <laughs> Clearly, you know, not a TV fan. And that's no. okay. But then I started panicking because I was like, well, do they send the Warner Brothers characters after her? Like, you know, and then she's going to be like, I've never committed a crime ever because you know she hasn't, you know. Yeah. And so I'm still worried about it. I don't really know what, what happened. <laughs> I think she's probably in jail, but. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we haven't seen her lately. That's why. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Lauren Graham right after this. We're back with Lauren Graham, the star of WB's Gilmore Girls. And uh, what's the, you, you do theater as well as the, the, uh, the TV show and movies, but what's the play that? Uh, the... I, I did a play at the Williamstown Theater Festival. Have you ever been there? No. Uh, it's such a wonderful festival. It's really fun. And um, I did a play there. And, um, it was called Once in a Lifetime. It was like a 30s screwball comedy. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you have some kind of, uh, pardon the pun, but you have a beef with a deli place there? <laughs> 
Well, there's a deli there. It's a really small town, you know, and there's like one deli and one bar, and everybody knows each other and whatever. And so at, at this deli, there are all the sandwiches are named after actors who have worked at the festival. There's the Joanne Woodward, tasty. There's the, you know, <laughs> Scott Wolf, delicious. And, um, <laughs> and I sort of secretly thought, like, I didn't, well, okay, so I thought I'd have a sandwich because, you know, I was out there scrubbing the sets, not really, but I was out there really <laughs> working hard and I don't have a sandwich because apparently you have to be there two summers. Okay, <laughs> Bo Derek has a sandwich and I don't know that she's ever been there even in the town, so I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's probably been there. Really? Wouldn't you be mad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know what my sandwich would be. That's the thing. My sandwich is so delicious. Well, they have because we 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 knew about the story. We called. Oh, no. and they, here's the menu. They have oh. uh, they have uh, the Bo Derek. I can't read that at all. But um, it's the and, Olympia Dukakis, the Eric Stoltz, the Joanne Woodward, the Gwyneth Paltrow. Sure, naturally. I mean, she's been she's worked very hard. Right. But the, what else? The veggie burger. That's not an actor. <laughs> Please welcome veggie burger. Um, yeah, so that... Why couldn't I be yeah. veggie burger? I mean, there's just like it, a sandwich in search of a name. And you know what? You can be. What? Because we called uh, no. Vula at Papa Charlie's no. Deli in Williamstown, and they've now added the Lauren Graham sandwich. <laughs> Consists of tomatoes, sauteed peppers, mushrooms, onions, four ounces of turkey, and uh, it's slid inside a pita <laughs> with sprouts on top. Is that what you wanted? I mean, I can't think of anything better. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Papa right. Charlie's. That's amazing. I know. But see, what it should be? It should be the it should be the Ellen DeGeneres, because really, Ellen, you went and got that sandwich for me, and I thank you. Well, and you've never been to Williamstown, have you? No, I have not been there. Neither has Bo Derek. Yeah. Well, <laughs> do you know that? No, I don't. I'm no. sure she's been there because because it's a what hard sandwich. It's a hard place to get Bo a sandwich. Bo Derek. She has two chicken breasts on a no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I can't even read that. But um, I'm sure it's it's delicious. And um, she's a vegetarian, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so is Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's a vegetarian. But does he have a sandwich at Papa Charlie's? No, no. he doesn't. Well, but you do. That's the important thing. I couldn't may, be prouder. Thank maybe you. they'll, yeah, you should be proud. Yeah. And, and maybe they'll add an Ellen DeGeneres sandwich. Maybe they will. <laughs> that was, that was... <laughs> Were you giving sound effects to the camera? <laughs> doing was I was sending them um, like a you know sort of a, a, yeah. a, a power of suggestion yeah. I, was, I was hypnotizing them yeah is that right <laughs> yeah. well, but now that we've uh, you you're know, scared I talked about it yeah all right <laughs> it didn't work okay no. and then <laughs> go ahead <laughs> you're just very entertaining I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> All right, so um, do you, hey, can yeah. we, what, what's the movie, let's talk about Bad Santa. Okay, I have this movie and it's coming out for the holidays. It's coming out on Thanksgiving. Uh, it's called Bad Santa. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's about a Santa gone terribly, terribly wrong. It's sort of like the Elf, you know, the Elf movie, right, very right. popular right now. Yes. If the Elf had a terrible drinking problem, uh -huh. that would be Bad Santa, yeah. as played by Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, uh -huh. Can you, I mean, you can imagine. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. I don't even get it. All I right. mean, he's the actor playing the bad yes. Santa. And they were, they were just with you going, oh, uh-huh, uh, tell us, tell, tell like us he more. He is a bad Santa, yeah. yes. No, I think that they were just saying, you know, <laughs> tell us more about, about that. About the sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Leachman is in it. Yes. Yes, I've worked with Cloris Leachman. Yes. Did you have fun? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Uh, she's hilarious. <laughs> she's hilarious. She is hilarious. Yes. And she loves, she's a very, she's a thespian, isn't That's she? Right. <laughs> she loves to get into her characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it. This no, we had a really good time. I had to pull a stocking off of her foot. Uh -huh. That's one thing. I, that's one way in which I interacted with her. Uh -huh. And um, it's a really bizarre movie, but it's it's um, very very funny and um, it looks hilarious. Yeah, I, I saw the clip of her sleeping when you and, <laughs> right. and, and Billy Bob walk in. Yeah, yeah, it looks hilarious. That's funny. All right, that's that's a safe place for us to stop talking. Um, forever? <laughs> yeah. that's it? No, okay. not forever. All right. All right, and hopefully I see you again on a wooded trail. And yes. When you see people, uh, say hello I'll to them. I'll try to be more friendly. Thanks. No, all right, Lauren. All right. Thank you very much. Hi. Wow. Hi. Wow. 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 Wow.
Holy smokes, hi! I, I, you know, you shoot uh, Mike and Molly on a lot. I've I never know, met you so though. So close. I've never met you. In so person. many people. You think would run into each other on a bike or in a in a showgirl or me just costume? Standing outside your door, <laughs> going, "Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Have you done that? <laughs> Couple times. Okay. Not, not a weird amount. Like no, three. Just three times. Three times. Four, four is four weird. Four is when it turns yeah. the corner. Yeah. Three's cool. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. First of all, you're so hilarious. And oh uh, you. Where were you? Where Where did you uh, grow up? Pl uh, Plainfield, Illinois. Illinois. And, uh, farm town outside in a Chicago. Farm town. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I like farm towns. Yeah, I do too. So a small town, and then you you go from a farm to how did you start doing comedy? I went. You know, I ended up. I wanted to go to New York to do fashion, and my parents were like, "Oh, you'll kill yourself." No, that's it. Which I probably would have actually. And uh, so I went down to Southern Illinois, and then ended up in New York with a friend. That like two days after I got there, he's like, "You're doing stand up," and just started circling things in like, the Village Voice and. I didn't have enough sense to be like, that's a terrible idea. I was like, okay, it's probably easy. <laughs> and just like, <laughs> like did a quick shot and went up there and I was like, today my day, like it was terrible. Like I just talked, I didn't know you were supposed to write. <laughs> I just got up there and kind of talked and talked and like it was going pretty well or so I thought. And they're flashing a light and I was like, I, I thought I was getting like the encouragement light. So I was like, all right. <laughs> and I, <laughs> Because I didn't know. I didn't know, like, if they flash a light at you, it means get off. Like, right. your time's done. <laughs> We're done with you. Leave the stage immediately. And every time they did it, I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> I was, like, winking. I thought, like, the guy in the booth maybe liked me. Like, none of this was actually happening, so. And then Bridesmaids, uh, uh, yeah. that's, first of all, uh, if you haven't seen the movie, you have to see it. It is the most hysterical oh, movie. Oh, my God. so fun to do. It was ridiculous. And, and where is that character that you're doing from? Where'd you find her? That, you know, um, I don't know. I'm, I love all those mid, <laughs> I love all those Midwestern women and, and, uh, I don't know. It's like I, I grew up with a lot of those women and there's, there's a little bit of Guy Fieri in there from the Food Network. Cause uh -huh, uh -huh. we watch him, my husband and I, Ben, watch him all the time and are kind of obsessed with him. And I was like, and I think she's, I think she's kind of, And oh, your husband is, is, uh, in the film as well. He plays yeah, the that's guy my that, that you keep telling him he's a, an air marshal. And uh, do we have a, a clip? All right, this is you and your husband in uh, a little clip in the movie. How did y'all not laugh all the time? We did. We had, I, I think there has to be like 20 hours of just people ruining take. There was just a lot of, we'd do a take, somebody would always start laughing, and then there was, you just heard constant apologies. There's, a, there's an outtake, uh, your outtake uh, at, the, at the end of the movie before the credits roll, you and your husband in, this, in the bed with the sandwich is, is just, oh my God, it, it's hilarious. And then I waited through the entire credits thinking there'd be more because I, oh, I, no. I, I waited, I mean, that's how much I love the outtake. I just oh want a God. movie of outtakes. I just want all of the... I, I have a weird feeling that the DVD is gonna have like Good. six million hours of it. And, and when Maya was here, I said, you know, people are talking about a sequel already and I'm begging if there is a sequel, I want to be a part of this movie. If, so if there's a sequel, I'd, I'd like to be in it. So Maya said yes. Will you say yes uh, as I well? I say yes. Okay. I second I'm, that. I'm in it. I second that. Ah, are you kidding? I love that movie. Oh. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. What's I haven't, up? I haven't seen you in a while, and I, I heard something in the meeting this morning that I'd like to talk to you about. OK. You froze yourself. <laughs> what does that mean? I've, I've seen different freezing things of like freezing body fat and stuff like yeah. that, but you froze your entire body. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> um, what is I, the, wait, I don't know what this is and I've never heard of it and, and what does it do? I don't know, but um, <laughs> it seemed like a youth or, uh, related thing to do and um, it's, uh, athletes do it. I guess it's supposed to, the real thing is supposed to like reduce inflammation, but um, it just seemed like a fun way to spend a Saturday. So <laughs> I went to the place with my friend and basically they just kept throwing, first of all, they take your blood pressure, which doesn't instill confidence. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like you're, you, you might faint or die, I guess. Well, but if you look useful, yourself. then who cares? So, um, <laughs> so then you put on like these socks and these clogs and they just keep telling you that it's from Europe which always makes me feel good about something. They're, they're just like, oh, in Europe, they, they all do this. And in Europe, uh, this was invented. And you're like, wow, I'm like from Europe. And, and um, you go in this chamber and um, 
And then a voice counts you down, and they're like, one minute, 30 seconds left. And like, it's the longest two minutes you've ever spent. And you're like, oh, and they kept asking if, I, if there was a song I wanted, like as if there's some song that helps you not be cold. Um, <laughs> and there wasn't a song. I couldn't think of like what my freezing song would be. be. Nellie's It's Getting Hot in Here. Oh. Yeah. Ellen. Um, wait, are you naked? You're in your underwear. And Knee what socks you... and clogs. Okay. It's a great look. Yeah, it's a good look. <laughs> and what? Ha and how did you feel when you walked out of there? You feel great, and I guess you're supposed to. The, the Europeans are like these Americans are so <laughs> stupid. Wait till you see what we're doing to these Americans. So there's a lot of these places. Because and what's it called exactly? Cryo something. Well, a cryo bank is where you actually get sperm, or, or you know, that's where you put your. Maybe they do that too. Uh, maybe you went and maybe you're pregnant now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I am in Europe. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, well, I could talk about that longer, but I got to talk about Gilmore Girls. Oh, yeah. So congratulations. Thank so, you. What was it like the first day? I mean, that's, everybody's been waiting for this. <laughs> was it, so we were like, did it feel like you just finished, or was it weird the first day? It was both. I mean, I snapped back into it like no time had passed, but then we were... You know, for instance, one of our stages was here. We didn't used to, on this show, we didn't used to be here. So I'd walk out and see people from your show and just feel so confused, you know. But I, I have never had an experience like it. It was one of the happiest times of my life. And on the very first day, I was so um, nervous and I couldn't decide what to wear because it was the scene where it's the first time you'll see my character. And uh, I kept changing, changing, changing. And finally, I, I had to go. And so I picked something off the rack and it was a little big and my dresser pinned it in the back. And so I went to set, had our day, incredible day. And at the end of the day, she knocks on my door and she said, I have something to show you. I, I swear I didn't see this before, but this is the the shirt you picked and, and um, you know, I had thought there was like a pin in my back and she came and cut the tag out and it was the tag from the shirt I picked on the first day of playing this character for the second time. And <laughs> the tag says, Lorelei 2. What? <laughs> That's freaky. It, the shirt was called the Lorelei 2. And, and it just, I know, I know. <laughs> well. And it, it became such a symbol for me of all the special, magical, incredible, I don't know, things that had to happen for this to come together. Yeah. And there were a bunch of those. And, and uh, I kept a diary and, and wrote about it. Weren't there, like, there was, everyone was shut down, like, the, there were, like, lockdowns because everybody was so worried about spoilers that no one could talk about anything. Including me. <laughs> including I'd come to set with friends, you know, and try to take pictures and the... Warner Brothers guards would be like, ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. And I was like, no, I'll, it's, you can trust me. I, uh, I'll, uh, you know, take good care of this information. Yeah, it was, you know, it's a show that people love and, and um, wanted information about. So we, all the scripts were watermarked. You know, we had to try to keep it secure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing that you got it done because uh, to get all those people together to, to be able to do that again. Um, and the book is... Uh, called Talking As Fast As I Can, because you talk fast. Yeah. And um, there's, uh, and this is basically the experience of... It's a book of essays. It's uh, me growing up. It's, I talk about doing the show the first time, but the final chapter is kind of this diary I yeah. kept during this latest incarnation. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Hi my friend. Here we are. I know Here, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. I understand that you have bought a camper and you're traveling around. Now, are you living? I thought you were doing better. I thought the I've, show paid I've, well. I've cashed in everything. I'm just in a camper. That's it. That's no, my it's life. a cool looking camper. I love those Airstreams. That's what you have, I right? I have an Airstream, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, that's it. With a lot of sky. And I was in the middle of the country where, driving back. Where so is that, that? Oh, man. That was, it might have been somewhere outside of Amarillo, Texas. And you're doing it mostly by yourself, right? I do it a lot of times by myself. But like sometimes, like, you know, driving cross country and back or. Uh, going out to certain uh, national parks, like if I go to Utah to Zion, I travel with one of my oldest friends, a kid I grew up with named Aaron. Uh, I'd stop and see my sisters in Utah, see my other sister in uh, Oregon. So just kind of getting out in the world all self-contained. I think it's very cool. I'm just, what, what do people think when you're in a campground and they see you? They must freak out. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Where, where, the, where the freak out happens and... You know, a lot of these campgrounds you pull up to, these, these um, RV 
uh, sites you pull into, it's a lot of older folks, uh, retired folks, mm -hmm. people just want to relax. And I get my, my rig all set up, and then I get out there with like kettlebells. <laughs> and I get out there with like weights, and I'm like working out and going through a work. And people are looking at me like, the heck is this guy doing? Yeah. But, well, that's why you look the way you look, because you travel with kettlebells. I do. Um, I do. And you went someplace that I have not been, and I'm dying to go, and I'm, I'm hoping to do it soon, but you went to Switzerland. I did. You got to go, Ellen. It's I, wonderful. I uh, can imagine. Where, what part did you go? Um, I flew into Zurich. Uh, one of my best friends, she lives over there, and I hadn't seen her because of, you know, the times we were in uh, in a few years, and I'm like, let me just go check on her. Let me just go see what's going on. Never been to Switzerland in my life. So I started in Zurich, then I went through Interlaken, then I went up to Zermatt. Uh, that was the Swiss Alps, and ended up seeing the Matterhorn, the actual real live Matterhorn, which, I mean, anybody who grew up down in Southern California and went to Disneyland as a kid, you see the smaller version of Matterhorn? Uh -huh. It's bigger there? It's much bigger. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's much bigger. That's exciting. You went That's to it. Disneyland a lot when you were growing up, I assume. All the time, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had an annual pass. That's where you'd kind of go and meet kids from other schools and just, mm -hmm. you know, kind of everyone's giggling like, yeah, yeah, we know what happens to kids with other schools. Is, um, it, is that a thing? I think it is. Yeah. I think I did, it is. I, I went to Disneyland once. That was my only vacation here in uh, California. No kidding. That was when I was a little kid. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but I don't remember it. I remember the hat with the ears. Did you wear that? I did when I was a kid. Yeah. I did when I was a kid. Actually, my mom, so when you go to Disneyland and you go to, like, the Mad Hatter or any of the hat shops around town, my mom used to work there when she was, I think, in her early 20s. So she was the one actually writing names onto hats when yes. I would go and get my names written on hats. When I was a kid, I'd always think about my mom working at Disney. Well, maybe she made uh, my hat. You, you never know. Maybe. I Possibly. It's, it would be amazing if, it, if she... Let's just say she did. I'm going to say she did, yeah. What a story that is. That, we go that, way yeah. back. Yeah. Ellen and I go way back. Yeah. <laughs> The Gilmore Girls revival has been filming next door for the past few months, so their trailers are right outside our stage, which gave me an idea that we would send Andy Zener outside. He's going to knock and see if we can just get somebody to come over to the show right now. It's a segment I'm calling, Will They Answer? All right. Andy, are you there? Hi, Ellen. Hey, Andy. <laughs> Whose trailer? Where are you now? I'm right here in front of Alexis Bledel. Let's see if she's there, okay? All right. <laughs> Is it locked? I don't think she's there, Ellen. All right. Alexis? No. All right. All right, come on. Who's next? <laughs> Lauren Graham. Knock loudly. Lauren. Lauren! Scream it. Lauren! <laughs> Lauren Graham, Ellen. on your door. You're not going to be there. I know. Yeah. I, but at least I brought my shoes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought you'd be in slippers or something like that, just hanging out. But you had your shoes off. Yeah. So, hey, how are you? Hi, good. It's, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. So, um, you've been shooting next door, and yet I haven't run into you, because you're working all the time. You're yeah. either in a trailer or in the stage. Yeah. And it was like n nine years ago that it wrapped? It was about eight years ago. And first of all, it's been the most incredible experience. I cry trying to talk about it because mm -hmm. it's just been so, I feel so lucky to get to do it, but it's also been so bizarre because I opened the door and we're across the street from you, which wasn't the case before, but the set is the same, but we're in a different place. So yeah. it's like it was yesterday, but also it was not yesterday. No, it was not. <laughs> no. It was, but it's like it was yesterday. Exactly. But it wasn't. Which is why people invented the phrase, like it was yesterday, yeah. because it was like it was yesterday. But, but it, and yet it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so is it, is it, does it fall like right into place? Even yes. Even though it's weird? Yes, it really did. Because it, like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like yesterday. Yeah. Um, I love this character so much, and it, I had the same feeling I had when I first opened that script, which was, just such a deep connection, and um, to get to do it again, who would have 
imagined. Yeah. Netflix had to be invented. You guys had to want it back, yeah. which is everything. Thank you. So, <laughs> everything is so exciting. So. It's on Netflix, and it's, what's the, do you have a title? What's it called? So, I'm here to tell you the title. Oh, okay, I, good. I can tell you the title for the first time. It's four 90-minute episodes, and they're winter, spring, summer, and fall, so the show is called Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. Oh, wow. <laughs> and how many more do you have to shoot? Are you done? We're almost done. You're almost done yeah. completely. Yeah. And what were you doing in the trailer before we knocked? Well, I thought that it was so kind of strange and wonderful to have played this character and then to get to play her again um, that I started writing about it. And I have a book of essays that are hopefully humorous coming out um, concurrent when the show comes out. And so... Uh, What's it called? It's called Talking As Fast As I Can. Uh-huh. <laughs> because... For obvious reasons. You talk fast, yeah. And um, you are in my book. I am. Several times, yeah. What, 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 what? what? Well, there's one. <laughs> I talk about just how incredibly supportive and great you've been to me. And then, but there's a chapter called You Can't Be Vegan Just for Ellen. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> because I realized that over the years I've, I, and I still try, but I've tried to be vegan, but that one of the real main reasons is because like, I want to be more like you, which then I also realized is the premise of the stalker film, Single White Female. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, you can't do things just to get invited to Ellen's house. Um, but, uh, so there's a chapter about that. Oh, uh, well, I'm honored. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm tired. Thanks. Um, I am... Well, and I couldn't be more supportive of you because I think you're incredibly talented and uh, your last book was hilarious. This thank book you. is, is going to be hilarious. And we all can't wait to see the Gilmore Girls. So thank you thank for you. running over here. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Uh,